this president wants to break through regulatory barriers to get a vaccine as safely as to the American people as quickly as possible because lives are at stake. But he will not in any way uh, sacrifice safety um, and making sure that this is 100 percent airtight before um, the American people receive it. So the priority here is saving lives, um, safety, and there will be a safe and effective vaccine in the works. And again, I think the CNN spinning up this conspiracy theory, it all was based upon the CDC career brought this up. Yes, and CNN was peddling a theory um, on this as well. Basically, you had career officials at the CDC who made a decision, who spoke with states about distributing vaccines, were preparing in advance uh, to have a safe and effective vaccine distributed. Um, because unlike the Obama administration during swine flu, they had real problems in that regard. Uh, the Obama administration promised 100 million doses by October. They then reduced that number to 40 million for the swine flu by mid-October, when de demand for a vaccine was at its highest, supply fell dramatically short with as few as 11 million doses on hand. You even had their CDC director saying, we are nowhere near where we thought we'd be by now. We are not near where vaccine manufacturers predicted we would be. We share the frustration of the people who have waited online or called a number or checked a website and haven't been able to find a place to get vaccinated. Unlike the Obama-Biden administration, we make plans in advance. It's why we have contracts for 100 millions of vaccine production uh, in advance, and it's why CDC career officials have worked with all 50 states to make sure that we can distribute this vaccine. We do our homework in advance, unlike Obama-Biden.